give it a go. Ooh. That hits that that <laughs> that hit right. That hit right just now. I'm gonna sit down for a few minutes and just enjoy this. It's been really cold here. Last week the weather we got like 70 degree weather now it's like back down to the 30s so <laughs> this is like right on point it's much better warm and y'all know turmeric um helps with inflammation so i'm trying to incorporate a lot more of it into um my just like daily routine i, I was looking at um turmeric pills online but I was like, you know what? I can just start like this, right? Like making tea. Um, all right, y'all. So I'm about to start cooking um, the spaghetti squash. This knife is not working, so I'm going to go run upstairs to get a different one. bit of water to it like just a layer of water so I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt pepper um, onion powder garlic powder and then I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil I should have did this before I put all the seasonings but that's okay and then I'm gonna lay them face down in the pan and they're gonna go in the oven for 45 minutes at um, 400 degrees. I'm just pushing it with the fork to see if it's softened enough. It still feels a little hard over on this side, but that's okay. I think it'll be fine. So all I do is just start to like scratch it essentially with the fork. Just like that. And what you end up with is all of this yummy squash that you can then use as your spaghetti noodles. So, um, and you can like keep going. Like all of this right here is all squash. So, you know, all you're gonna be left with at the end of all of this is the um, rind. And there you have it. Really, really yummy, healthier option for spaghetti. Hey y'all, so I wanted to show some of the things I picked up from Trader Joe's. Um, I have been addicted to this right here. This is the um, turmeric ginger coconut beverage, AKA golden milk. Um, one of my old co-workers was telling me about golden milk, golden milk a long time ago and um, I like looked into it and I saw like all the benefits of it but I never actually gathered like the ingredients and like sat down to actually make it <laughs> so when I came across this in Trader Joe's I was like okay it's already put together let me go ahead and try it and I add honey just for sweetness but I'm telling you all this stuff is good so I went out and bought four of them <laughs> because Trader Joe's for me is kind of far. So I was like, let me just stock up on it and I can probably get like three to four cups out of this, um, out of one. So yeah, picked up two types of soup. One is, um, this is tomato dumpling soup, a tomato soup with dumplings and Calabrian chili peppers and then garden soup. I've never had them in a jar before. <laughs> They've always been in like the plastic containers or a can. So I was like, let me give these a try. I like to um, keep soup on deck for like the times where you just kind of feel under the weather or 
I'm not really that hungry, but you know, I should eat something anyway. So I have those and then I also picked up a bunch of seasonings. So just the standard salt and pepper grinders to keep on my table. The famous chili lime uh, seasoning as well. And this is a new one for me. It's the green and red hatch chili flakes. The last couple times I've been out to brunch, I've seen like hatch omelets or something like that. So I was like, maybe this will taste good on eggs. So I got this for that reason. And then I also got um, this black garlic as well. I felt like that's interesting, you know? Mm. Mm, that smells good. It says use like garlic. <laughs> So um, we'll see what I'm gonna put this on. I don't know yet. It's a really small amount, which kind of scares me because I like to be pretty generous with my seasonings. Other things I got were granola. Um, I like to put these in my um, Greek yogurt um, as just a topper for Greek, like plain Greek yogurt, no sugar, no nothing. I let the sweetness typically come from the granola or I'll add a little bit of honey um, or fruit like blueberries chia seeds also add in there all those things so i got two different types this one is almond butter this one's pretty good and then this one is um pecan praline i bought this one for my dad because he likes praline but i actually really like this one so i'm gonna use both got the little um matcha mints at the checkout thing okay so Y'all know I'm trying to lose weight, or I, I'm not even gonna say trying. I have a goal of losing weight and transforming my body. I don't know why I did this, I just couldn't resist. Their coconut macaroons, y'all, are like little marshmallow coconut clouds. <laughs> Let me go get the other thing that I wanna show you guys. Okay, so this is what it is here. I think it's called Duca. It's a nut and spice blend. And what you do is you take some bread and you dip the bread in like olive oil and then you dip it in this. This is what it looks like. It's really, really good. Base of it, the ingredients are almonds, sesame seeds, oops, fennel seeds, coriander, anise seeds, and kosher salt. It says that you can also use it as a crust for chicken and fish um, or for seasoning vegetables. Okay, and then for frozen stuff, I just picked up three things. Mandarin orange chicken, Kung Pao chicken, vegetable fried rice. I was like, let me try these because you know, I'm working from home, my dad works from home, and sometimes like during the lunch hour, we like don't know what to eat, we don't feel like cooking. And um, instead of like ordering out, it's I figured it would be nice to just have some things in the freezer that we can just throw you know, in the oven or on the stove, make some rice and vegetables with it on the side and be good to go. I got some taco shells because I just don't love like the, um, what's the ones in the yellow box? Is it El Paso? I forget, you know, like the widely available ones that they sell in like every grocery store. And then I also got the taco mix as well. I got Denzel the dog food there. So Denzel is a really picky um, eater. He will rarely eat the same thing twice. And when it comes to canned food, he doesn't really like, um, like I'll feed him half and then refrigerate the other half. He, sometimes he doesn't like to eat the other half. But with these, he's been eating them. Um, and they were only like 160, I think. So I kind of stocked up on these. That's all y'all. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple of things. I'm going to later um, sit down and calculate my um, macronutrients because I'm gonna be doing the if it fits your macros diet or macro tracking. And I have to sit down and like do the little equations that um, help you figure out your targets. So I'll show you guys um, who I watch to get it right and how I get it right. So stay tuned.